Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek on the early what I see through scripture study and prayer line. On this um, 14th day, hallelujah, in December 2022, Al Hawk, what's up with it, man? You got Elder uh, Yosef holding his post down as usual, faithful. Oh, yeah. Faithful to the bone marrow. Hallelujah. Yamina Yahoo is in the building. Hallelujah. We got um, <clears throat> Matty Yahoo Dawson in the house. Latricia Johnson. Vocal Tov. Vocal Tov of Latricia. We got Melissa. Melissa up in here. Hallelujah. Got my mom. Bless your mother. Good to see you in here as well. Evangela, bless you. Good to see you in here. Good morning to you. Battle, battle. I called you this morning. I noticed you had called me last night, but I uh, called you uh, this morning. I uh, bless you and the wife praying hallelujah for her lungs, even right now in Yahushua's name. Teresa, good to see you in here. Demina, what's up with it? Continue pursuing who you're pursuing and you continue doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. We got Al Mal, my pal up in here. Good to see my big sister in the building. Good to see you, sis. Bless you. Hallelujah. Bless you. Um... We're going to a second Corinthians, second Corinthians, the 13th chapter on this morning. Yeah, we're going to second Corinthians 13 this morning. Um, let me see. Rock it from here. <clears throat> Beginning Trenda, what's up with it? Good to see you in here, young lady. Always a pleasure. Bree, what it be? Hallelujah. I'm trying to see which logo you got now, Bree. What profile you got? I'm looking at the top at the profiles and... Um, why right don't Trin? Pray, pray the family doing good, Trin. Bless you. <clears throat> okay, second, second Corinthians thirteen and five. Y'all, you know, let's start at five. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it is. I see. Yeah, it is. I see it. Okay. 
What's up with it, uh, Barbara? Good to see you in here. I should have known. I should have known you was going to be up in here. Y'all, we starting a minister class, minister in training. It's going to be um, banks in the building. Minister in training class is going to start Tuesdays at 7 p.m. on the Zoom. It's going to be on Zoom. Those of you that desire to be a part of the minister in training class, um, inbox me. But all y'all don't do, um, all y'all don't do Facebook, huh? Those of you that's on the conference line, text me. I pray everybody got my contact information. Those of you that's on the conference line, text me that you have desire um, to be in the minister in training classes. <clears throat> every Tuesday at 7 p.m. because I'm going to have to send you a link. I'm going to have to send you a link. A Zoom meeting link for you to be able to get in. It's invitation only. It's not for the public. It's, so you have to let me know you have a desire to be a part of the minister's class and I'll give you the criteria. And, uh, you're willing to roll with the criteria, I'm willing to send you the link. So that's every Tuesday, the minister in training class, every Tuesday on Zoom. If you're on a conference line, text me your email address and the desire, you have a desire to be a part of, uh, of that class and we'll talk. And uh, if you're on Facebook, you can text me too if you want to, but you can also inbox me on Facebook, so, is that all right? <clears throat> Let's rock, y'all. Second, second, second Corinthians 13 and 5, look what it says. It says, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Elena, good to see you in here. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, Alina. Look what it says. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Now, I don't know about how a scripture like this affects you. But there's been periods in my life where this scripture scares me. The results of it. Right on, Demina. I'll be looking forward to you reaching out. Are y'all with me? Religious people, a scripture like this, don't bother them too much. Y'all listening? Religious people, a scripture like this don't bother them too much. But when you really get to know the most high, when you get to really know the most high, when you really get to know the most high, scriptures like this can scare you a little bit, shake you up. The more Catholicized you are, the less a scripture like this would affect you. Did y'all hear what I said? The more religious the more Catholicized, the more Christianized you are, the less a scripture like this would affect you. You jokers that got it on lock, you and y'all is good at all times. No matter what you do, scripture like this wouldn't bother you. Are y'all with me? Mom, I'm going to have to teach you how to tag. I think. Or are you tagging right? Maybe you are. Huh? Let me see. Keep tagging, mother. <clears throat> are y'all with me? Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. 
I'm trying to teach the lesson, but you got to have the right tools in order to exam examine. You got to, in order to examine yourself, you got to have the right tools. Which, if I keep teaching, the lesson is gonna teach it. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna show it lightweight. <clears throat> but keep tagging, mother. <clears throat> examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Right? Mark Logan, good to see you. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Do you know how deep it got? This is the part that should bother you. Because, let's say, let's say you the type of person, this way it gets scary, y'all. Let's say y'all got tired of you playing with him. Can I teach today? Son, good to see you in here. JB, what it be? I still ain't read the uh, feed I'm in with y'all, uh, Jeff. I don't want to miss out on nothing. I be so busy. Do you know I haven't been able to read the feed to see what y'all talking about? Maybe you need to call me and tell me what y'all talking about, man. Yeah, mother, you're not tagging right. Yeah, that no, you're not tagging right, Mom. I'm gonna have to show you. You can stop tagging, mother. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Jeff. But listen, <clears throat> the part of the scripture that would, would would scare you. Listen to this. Listen to this. The Bible tells us to examine ourselves. To examine ourselves, right? In other words, you're gonna look at your 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 um. I see you, Jeff. You, you you supposed to look at yourself to see whether you you you're on good standings with Yah. That's what this scripture is talking about. You you supposed to check to see if you're in good standings with Yah. But if you twist it, how you gonna do that? Now we know we, we don't teach Jesus did it all. And you ain't got to do nothing. No, you got to, you got to, you got to be baptized into his death, according to Romans the sixth chapter. And like as he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. No, you got to do that. We ain't gonna play the Catholicized game. <clears throat> but when a person is spiritually twisted, they make excuses for themselves. Are y'all with me? They make excuses for themselves. I'm trying to tell you something. Folks that don't do what he say, sin comes with a built-in deception package. <laughs> if I'm willing, if I'm willing to watch porno, then what comes along with the porno package is at least I'm trying is associated with it. You know, at least I'm trying. Or, or God know my heart. It's associated with the porno package. If I over drink, there's scripture, there's scripture, there, there's twist. The, the, Satan used scripture on even the Messiah. When you twist it, you'll use scripture to excuse yourself. You'd be out of pocket. You'd be you'd be wrong, but 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 if I'm going to screw, I'm living with the woman and I'm screwing her. I'm living with I'm screwing. Her. I'm gonna come with a package like at least we plan to get married. The only reason why we not married is because he wouldn't marry us. Why are you screwing? The Bible says sin is deceitful. I'm trying to show you the deceit. Nicole, good to see you in here. Always a pleasure. Are y'all with me? We're in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. <clears throat> 
So examine yourself. You holding grudges, right? Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. It would be hard for you to admit. It would be hard for you to admit you have a grudge without a thought coming with it justifying the grudge. I'm taking my time and trying to teach y'all. I'm evil spirit hunting to try to help you. Are y'all with me? When folks run around here wicked, I'm talking about somebody that ain't even uh, 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 intending on obeying Yah. Let, let me tell you how the devil, how wicked, how wicked spirits work. Say if I don't plan on following Yah, everything I do, I justify. Even if I'm killing people, if I'm pimping, if I'm selling women, if I'm attending orgies, there's something in me that will justify it. In fact, the more wicked I am, I'll celebrate it. If I killed somebody and I'm wicked, I'm going to celebrate it. And I'm going to be happy that folks know not to play with me. Don't mess with me. Don't cross me. If I'm selling dope to people, taking taking money out of out of out of out of uh, 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 children's households, because I got their mama on dope. Oh, it ain't my fault. She a crackhead anyway. See, there's a justification package that come along with being a sinner. Yeah, I get drunk because yeah, there's a package to come along with uh, all this stress, all what I got to go through, and now I'm running around here drunk. Nasty and rude. Well, it happened to me. Folks have been nasty to me, so that's just what it is. <clears throat> There's a justification package to come along with it. You know folks ain't running around here being wicked and then condemning themselves for it. No, I'm justifying it. After the woman spent all around the pole with her butt in there, she spent around the pole a butt full of dollars when she land. She's going to justify that. She ain't running around here feeling bad. She's going to switch off stage. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Fast Fanny. And you're going you're gonna to bounce her fanny right on off the stage. Comes with a justification package. Doesn't it? Well, that happens amongst the Ecclesia. That happens amongst the Ecclesia when people, listen, that happens amongst the, 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 the Ecclesia, listen to me, that happens amongst the Ecclesia when folks is not willing to suffer to do what he tell them to do. When folks don't want to suffer to live right, don't want to discipline the flesh to live right. Bible says if you don't suffer with me, you won't reign with me. Well, folks is not willing to check their flesh. And when you check your flesh, you ain't going to like it because you in your flesh. When you check your flesh, you suffer. When you check your flesh, you don't want to be lonely. And some folks say, I don't want to be lonely, so I'm not going to check my flesh. I want to get drunk. So I'm not going to check my flesh. I want to screw. I'm not checking my flesh. And when you refuse to check your flesh, then your flesh has permission to give you excuse. Your flesh going to give you excuse of why you shouldn't check it. Your flesh will remind you of how mean people is to you. Your flesh going to holler, don't kill me, don't kill me. All I want to do is have a little sex. When you don't, then your flesh going to say, thank you for not killing me. You know we love y'all. You know we love y'all. We just a little weak right now. Go on back in the room. <laughs> Handle your business. 
We just love. You know he know your heart. <laughs> oh, I mean our heart. We in this together. <laughs> so when we sil willfully sin, we give place to that evil nature. And that evil nature going to justify you. God is love. Flesh is going to quote that scripture for you. God is love. He love you. Y'all ain't going to. Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna judge you like that. We all struggling with something. You know how the flesh talk. Watchmen struggling too. He just ain't told anybody. Bev, good to see you in here. We're in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5 right now. <clears throat> Can I take my time? The scripture says, examine yourself. You talking good, Demina. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. The help for a scripture like this is difficult as it is for people to admit when they're wrong. It's difficult for me too. It's hard to admit when we're wrong. But the key to salvation is the ability to admit when you're wrong. That's the key to salvation. To, to be able to admit when you're wrong. How many of y'all believe? I know everybody believe in that. How many of y'all believe you can admit when you're wrong? Put, put, put a one in here if you believe you can admit when you're wrong. Put a one in here if you can admit. You believe you can admit when you want. When you're wrong, you can admit it. Watch all these ones coming in. Come on, show me. Put a one in here if you believe you can admit when you're wrong. Me, me, I accept the me too. Me is good. One, me, both same thing. You can admit when you're wrong. A one, if you can admit when you're wrong. You believe that. Because some folks is putting one in here. Don't admit when they're wrong. <laughs> and they make an excuse, but it's cool. <laughs> Most of the time, one and a half. Huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Teresa put a soft one. <laughs> now that's more accurate. Now, now you tie, she put a soft one. <laughs> because that's more honest. I would tell you, she got, she, that's a good answer. I like that. One and a half kind of slid in there with it. Listen, everybody holler, uh, uh, look at this. Everybody, if I'd have said that to a, a, a hundred people, it, it would have been a hundred ones in there. But the people that know some of the ones in there to say, nah, you'll never admit when you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you think the same thing about them? How you gonna put a one in there? Yeah, you always. Oh, here we go. Let's keep. Let's teach y'all. Let's. Well, let's go this route. How many y'all can admit it's difficult to admit when you're wrong? Can I get? Can I get a two? It's difficult to admit when you're wrong. Can I get a two? Who 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 can admit that it's difficult to? Deuces, baby. Give me, where the deuces at? Is it difficult at least? Is it difficult? Is it difficult? Is it difficult? Put a one back in here if it ain't difficult for you. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy peasy. Put a one in here if it's easy for you to admit when you're wrong. Or would you say it's difficult? Deuces. At least it's they're allowed to see. I like to reason this more. Oh, she causing problems over here. See, oh, she said a soft one. Yeah, I can admit it. And she was shaking when she pushed one. But she starts screaming, two is hard. Ah, it's hard. Off me. You're judging me. We want to say you quit judging me. No. Put a two in here. Put a two in here. That's good. We got a couple of ones in this section. That that's that's good. That's good. 
Look what it say, y'all. All right, uh, C Star. Okay, okay, you talking good. Look what it say. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. That's difficult because we normally judge ourselves on the curve because of, of the excuse syndrome I just was explaining to y'all. We make excuses for ourselves. Gene, good to see you in here. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. We make excuses for ourselves. It just comes naturally, right? Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. But look at the kicker. It says, prove it. It said, prove your own self. Now, now we talking. So say, if if it come on the table like, uh, you know, Venetia, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, you might want to play this one back. I believe it'll help. I think it's going to help you. But listen, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Watch this. Say if... um. I'm accused of holding grudges. So I'm examining myself to see whether I hold grudges. And I come to the conclusion I don't hold grudges. Then the Bible says, prove it. Are y'all with me now? Are y'all with me now? If you examine yourself and admit like you don't pray like you should, what are you going to do? Ignore it? The examination is to make sure you're in right standings with Yah. That, that's why you're examining yourself, right? When we examine ourselves, we should be making sure we're doing what he told us to do. Because you know what we'll do? We'll get laxed. Our evil nature will get relaxed and not check ourselves. We end up with bad spiritual habits. We'll end up with carnal habits that go against Yah and we'll ignore it. The Bible says the little foxes that destroy the vine. There's things that's in your life that's anti-Yah, but we'd rather ignore it. So the examination process is so you won't ignore it. So you'll look at it because it will kill you. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? It even get deeper than the deception in people that's screwing. But still trying to serve y'all. You can't do it. You're going to have to stop screwing. You're going to have to stop getting drunk. You're going to have to stop getting high. You're going to have to stop forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. You're going to have to stop holding grudges. That is, if you plan to serve Yah. Is this a minister's class? Minister's class is on Zoom. Every Tuesday. Minister class is on Zoom. Every Tuesday. And I have to send you a link to get in because it's private. And if y'all want to be a part of the, the minister in training class, y'all would have to inbox me on Facebook or text me your email address so I can send you the link if you want to join the minister's class. I'm starting to feel like we already in the minister's class. Did any of y'all text me or inbox me your email address? So y'all can attend on Tuesdays? Those that desire to be a part of the minister and training class? Are we on Zoom right now? Because it's starting to feel like it to me. Because this is the type of content necessary to be a minister. We need to be trained in stuff like this. So Yah is good. What I say on the one, I say on the all. This feel like a minister's class to me. Are y'all with me? Niece, good to see you in here. We're in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Look what it say. I'm going to keep digging, y'all, but look what it say. <clears throat> All right, Taylor, we in here. feel like we're in the minister's class that's on uh, every Tuesday. All you got to do is inbox me your email address or text it to me, 
and say that you have a desire and I'm going to give you the qualifications of, of being in the, in the ministry and training class. And I'll send you the Zoom link. It's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But listen, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Do you know what level of honesty? I know y'all said that y'all, you know, y'all can admit when you're wrong. I know y'all said that. You know, everybody say that. But now we didn't shift gears. I like y'all admitted that it's difficult. It's difficult to admit when you're wrong. I understand that too. But the solution to the pollution is still right here. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And then it said prove it. Okay. You're not a liar. You examine yourself, right? Prove it. Prove it. You're not, you're not in the porno. Prove it. You, you, do you hold grudges? Because if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive you yours. Do you have a list of people you got a grudge against? If your answer is no, because a lot of us will say no. Some of us is honest enough, honest enough to say yeah, but some of us say yeah offensively, like so what? Or... I ain't, I'm still going to keep doing it. Then you don't forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive you yours. That's it. It's, it's nothing to, uh, you know, really wrestle about. That's good, Venetia. Clean up the list. Because we're not Catholicized. We're not pretending like we're on our way to heaven and we ain't. Some of us uh, 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 like to pretend like we're on our way to heaven and we ain't. And again, the Bible teaches that sin is deceitful. What comes along with sin is a comfort. What do they call it? Endorphins. Endorphins like, you know, soothe you. When you're going against Yah, who want to be uncomfortable? Who want to walk around here uncomfortable? You screwing and you uncomfortable. Don't nobody want to screw and they uncomfortable. Folks screwing so they could feel good. So so when you decide that's what you're going to do, you're going you gonna to come with a religious position. Everybody's sinning. Or oh, that's why Jesus died. Or he know my heart. You know how we do. You screwing and you still going to continue pursuing as if you got a relationship with y'all. Please keep pursuing, but you got to watch what you're doing. That's good, uh, C-Star. When we, like, we, we illegally screw somebody, and then they run off and leave us. It was illegal when we screwed. Sometimes you just got to count your losses and let it go. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. That means you're going to look at yourself to make sure that you're on the right page with Yah. That's big. That's big, Beverly. Real talk. And it takes Yah to set the captor free. But first we got to see it's a problem. When we're in a Catholicized situation, all we hear is a bunch of religious stuff. We hear Jesus, that ain't even his name. And it's just a bunch of religion. No, we got to get our houses in order. Because the Bible teaches that he's coming back for Ecclesia without spot, wrinkle, blemish or any such thing. We got to get our houses in order. And a scripture like this personally scares me. Personally, it scares me personally because when I examine myself, I can give myself a clean a bill of spiritual health. Check, check. Oh, yeah, I got this in order. 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 Oh, I'm good. Me and y'all good. And then the next statement he makes to me, 
prove it. All the way down to if I did something wrong. Listen to what I'm saying about me. If I did something wrong and I apologize to Yah for it, and then I turn around and do it again, and then I apologize to Yah for it, and then I turn around and do it again, and then I apologize to Yah for it, there's a problem. Because when we get into the proof of this thing, listen to what I'm trying to teach you. When we get to the proof, you got to know what that proving process look like and what it's for. What is it for? Why he say prove it? Because if you can't prove it, it ain't true. You gave yourself a, a, a clean bill of spiritual health. You and Yah is good. That's what you said. But yet there's still sin in the camp. Something you continue to do. You continue to go against him no matter what he say. What, you got a, you got a clean bill of spiritual health with Yah for real? Or are you deceived? I'm trying to tell you something. It scares me if I do something that I shouldn't do. And then I apologize to Yah for it and I do it again. And again. I'm talking about the same thing. I'm not talking about nothing new. I'm talking about the same thing over and over and over again. He said, prove it. I'm going to read more of this scripture so you can understand why he said prove it. It's going to get scarier before it get better, y'all. Listen, how much time I got? Man, I'm running out of time, and I ain't really kicked this joker in gear yet. We might have to deal with this in minister's class. But listen, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And it said prove your own self. You do it. Your own self, right? Then... It gets heavy when it says, know you not your own self. Do you know how sarcastic that sound? You know what that really mean? Like, know you not your own? You don't know you scandalous? You don't know you wicked and religious all at the same time? You don't know that? You don't know you a hypocrite? That's the, that's the connotation. That's the aroma on that. Know you not your own self? You don't know? Did you watch porn up? You don't know that? You don't know that you lying? Been lying? You a liar. You don't know that? Oh, you don't know that, huh? You don't know you sexy? And you like to flaunt it? Got all the brothers ready to see and go against y'all. Being around you. You, t you talking good, Venetia. Y'all can deliver, though. I can talk to you about that better. We'll talk about it. You, 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 you my wife, and I can have an, another session. Because cause it's about that time anyway. But. We'll talk about it, but Yah's a deliver. Yeah, he'll deliver. But the sarcasm right here. No, you're not your own selves. Oh, you don't know? You don't know how you get in? For real? You don't know? Okay. We're going to play that game, huh? Listen. <clears throat> no, you're not your own self. How that the Messiah is in you. That's the flip side. It has a, a, a sarcastic connotation on here, but yet how that the Messiah is in you. And we know the Messiah is the word. See, there we go. We would love to have the Messiah in us as the son. We want the flesh. The word was made flesh. Now we want the flesh side of the son. Well, the son ain't bailing you out on, in this one. Catholicism teach the son going to take over right here. But in 2 Corinthians, right here, 2 Corinthians 5, and we went back to 5 and 16, they say we don't know the Messiah after the flesh no more. After the, no, nah, we don't know the, the son like that. Son did his job. Son lived a perfect example. 
Son died on the tree for you and me. He was that, 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 that scapegoat. He was that lamb, the sacrifice. Yeah. And now he gone. Now we're reconciled with the voice of Yah. Now we're reconciled with the word. The Ruah is the word. The Ruah HaKadosh is the word of Yah. Folks think it's the third, third second, or th third in the Godhead. Man, you tripping. He ain't three. Let's break this thing down. The Ruah is the word. We're reconciled with the word. That's why I say the spirit of Yah shall lead and guide you in all truth. His word is going to tell you what to do and lead you straight into eternal life, straight into reconciliation with the creator. Man, I'm running out of time and I want to teach this. But know you not your own self. How that the Mashiach is in you. Listen, except you be reprobates. You know what that is? That means that you can't stop sinning. Nah, I'm not going to go too hard on this part right now. That you can't stop. And those of you that love sinning, don't play the game. Don't let your flesh play the game and convince you that you can't stop sinning. Don't you let your flesh do you like that. No, your flesh don't want to suffer to stop sinning. Don't play that game with yourself. Because some folk, some of us is so loving, in love with sin, we'll just say, oh, what's the use? And quit and walk away from y'all on some dumb stuff. Some of us, some of us that's refuse, like say you refuse to stop getting drunk. You refuse to stop sinning. You're going to screw. Could you stop? Yeah, but you don't want to. Oh, you got a hump in your back. You screwing up a storm. They call you bang, bang in the house, don't they? You run around here banging up everything, ain't you? Then you find out, listen to me. Then you find out they got AIDS. What happened to bang, bang? Oh, bang, bang moved out. <laughs> bang, bang. Where bang, bang at? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Hey, bang, bang at the bus station. <laughs> bang, bang, go. Bang, bang, ain't even got a car. He gone. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> he just skipped on. <laughs> yeah. Well, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Baby, you in there? <laughs> hey, bang, bang. He's on his way to church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bang, bang. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I try to limit my sense of humor. Because I can be funny. I really could. Way funnier than I am. But then I'm going to start laughing too much. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. All right. I'm all right. <clears throat> okay. Am I telling the truth? How much time I got? I don't want to enjoy the funny stuff too much. So let me calm down, y'all. <coughs> put y'all with me. So don't, so, so don't put yourself in a trick bag like you can't stop. You just refusing to. And prayerfully the word come by and wake you up. Did I find you? Did I catch you? Did the word catch you? Okay, to the church of Johnson, you ain't supposed to use that emoji. You're going to make me, have me laughing again. Are y'all with me? Examine yourself. I'm finna go, y'all. Because I'm out of time. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You do what y'all say? How many should y'all support the ministry and you don't? Examine it. When you look at yourself, oh, it was funny, Demina. I ain't gonna lie. 
Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And then he said, prove it. He's not going to just give you to your own thoughts. Because the Bible teaches there's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of it is the way to death. We be justifying ourselves. We be thinking we're right when we don't do what we're supposed to do. We're justifying. When we're not doing what we're supposed to do, we'll make an excuse. Don't we? That's why he said, okay, when you conclude, if you're able to admit when you're wrong, because that's necessary. If you're able to admit when you're wrong, then prove it by getting it right. The proof is, I see where I'm wrong, now I got to prove I can do right. I can do it. I can do that. That's what the proof is. Prove your own. Prove you can obey Yah. I have ran across areas in my life to where I had to go into straight proof mode. Do I had to prove it to myself that I love Yah and I'm not going to let this sin kill me. I had to. And I still got to until he come get me. If there's something that don't line up with him, I got to get it right. I got to prove my own self that I love him and he's still in me. Otherwise, I'm a reprobate. I'm disqualified. I blew it. I played with him to the point to where he said, you know what? You go on and finish screwing, player. You go on and finish holding the grudge. You go and finish like, go on, drink, go on, get, go on, do you. I got you. Go on, finish old grudges, come and go, do you. Do, do it to you satisfied, whatever it is. Do it. Do it to you satisfied. See, some of y'all too young to know that song. <clears throat> come on and do it. Do it to you satisfied, whatever it is. Prove it. You examine it, prove it. Pro prove you belong to Yah. How many of y'all going to prove it? How, how many of y'all going to prove it? How many of y'all going to prove that you belong to him with your life through the eradication of sin? Oh, see, Jeff is on it. You know what it is, JB. <laughs> prove it. How many of y'all going to prove it? Put a five in here. Put five on it. If you're going to prove you belong to Yah, prove it. Put a five on it then. Five on it. Put a five on it if you're going to prove it. Prove that you belong to it. That means your attitude going to change. That means you, you're going to eradicate sin in your life. That, that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. That you still got a relationship with Yah. How many of y'all put a five on it? Come on, y'all. Yes, sir. Ah. I got five on it. Straight. So, 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 I be seeing spiritual people, they be wicked and religious as hell. Evil. It's all an act. Because they're evil. And if you're not evil, prove it. He, but he is the sin. I mean, he is not he. He is the help for the sin, Benicia. What, what what it is? You just have to be willing to suffer. One of the hardest thing to get off is cigarettes. But if you if you go to yacht, he get you off. Yeah, he will. You gotta be willing, you gotta be willing, you gotta be willing, you gotta be willing to suffer. Maybe I'll teach, teach that next. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humble know how glean the truth of thy word, thy word is truth. Continue to illuminate your children, quicken us, make us alive. Give us your word till you arrive. We, we, we need you, we need you, we need you. We need you, we need you, we need you, we need you desperately. Help us. Help C Star to get to 4.5 to 5. Help us all. Touch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. 
feet. Forgive us for all sins, even as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the wicked one. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And am I. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. And okay. That's it, y'all. That was the lesson. Uh, I pray you were brutal. I pray you were brutal. Right on, Trenton. We can talk about it some more. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648, if y'all want to talk about it some more or even pray this morning. Feel free to do that. Keep the number. Keep the number so you can pray at noon if y'all uh, is available for prayer at noon. What's tonight? Wednesday prayer tonight on the same number at 7 p.m. Uh, it's prayer. And again, minister and training class starts this coming Tuesday at a 7 at 7 um 7 p p.m pacific standard time if you want to be a part of that just uh text me or inbox me on fa on facebook um text me that you want to be a part and i'll need your email address i'll need your email address to send you the invite and I definitely will give you criteria because it is criteria to be a part of the minister and training class. You just, just, this ain't a wide open door. You got to be, you got to mean business with y'all. <clears throat> is that all right? So those of you that's interested, text me and inbox me. Start that process effective today. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bless you. So those of you that's, uh, that's interested, get at me. Love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me. Let's pray for you. Thanks for all the prayers for my wife. Thanks for all the prayer for Mother Katie's husband, my sister Felicia's husband, my mom's eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone that, that you know, is not feeling well, they go to newlyweds. I love that picture, uh, Alyssa. Beautiful picture of you and your handsome husband. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and uh, and Brock Shalom. Brock Shalom, I'm gone.